So this is Sadie. She um, she needed surgery about a week ago. She had a little uh, about a pea-sized um, little abscess in her gum, and it had gotten a little bit bigger. So we decided to take her in and get that removed. Unfortunately, to take that out, they had to take two of her teeth as well. So she's got stitches up there. And so she didn't want to, you know, they, they didn't want her to eat anything hard. She eats kibble normally, so I had to blend all her food. And at first she was in quite a bit of pain, so she really didn't even want to eat. So I had to put some canned food in there. And of course, you can't just give one canned food. So all three of them got canned, you know, a little bit of canned food in their kibble. So the house was pretty stinky for a while and still kind of is. Uh, the other thing was she got her dental cleaning so her teeth are, are nice and clean now and she had two little lipomas removed little uh, cysts fatty cysts uh, this side was no big deal the one on this side which was right behind her arm uh, was in the muscle a little bit so they had to cut into the muscle to, to take that completely out so that was pretty painful as well and she's got several staples in her those should come out in a couple of days. She seems a lot happier and kind of on the mend. And that's really kind of what she does most of the time anyway. So this concludes the vlog portion of the video and now we get on to the lighting. Are you excited about that? Hi, welcome to Canis Spader Christmas. So the order that I had placed at Christmas Expo with Biscoyo came in this week. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm also a little stressed about that because now I have prop prepping to do that I didn't have before, but it's gonna be kind of cool. So one of the things that I got was this matrix uh, stuff. So I got the three inch centers so I believe that's going to, it's a four by four foot by eight foot sheet. So I believe it's going to be 512 pixels all total. So I'm going to have fun pushing all the pixels in here, but I really don't mind that. I also got 200 feet of um, strip. And that will be used for these things which go over three quarter inch EMT and then you it'd be like this and or this or however long it's going to be and you can put six strips around so it's like a little pole it's a I think he calls it a pixel pole um, I did measure 100 pixels and that was about 25 or 26 feet so that's going to be longer than I want for a single strand so I'm gonna fold it over at 50 and that was really kinda of how I had planned to do it anyway so this will be about a 13 foot two and I got enough for two of them so there'll be two 13 foot straight up poles and I I'm gonna try uh, modeling them as just a matrix but we'll we'll see how that turns out after I get a little bit further down the line this also brought up the point is that I'm going to need more pixels. So I placed an order with Ray this week and so probably a week, week and a half I can start working on these. And then the last thing I got was these strips uh, that have, I don't want to open them up because they're so nicely wound right now and I'm not ready to play with them. But uh, they're like the normal pixel strip but they do have little tie-off points for like hooking it to EMT or something so you have a piece of EMT you can tie wrap it to that and then you can just have your pixels up here out of the way and the EMT would go right down here so uh, I'm going to try that for all the horizontal pieces that I had uh, like over the garage and and the windows and doors and things like that So I'm gonna try these for that and um, I think it's going to work because this is a lot this feels a lot thicker than the normal uh, strips that you get like I have on the Megatree and things like that 
uh, a little bit sturdier so I'm excited to do that and that will come later uh, if if I get everything else done also when I well I really don't need the pixels for that I could actually work on those so that might be a project for next weekend this week I wanted to just completely get the sticks ready um, so that all I had to do was pound the rebar into the ground slide the thing over and wire it up I want to try this is roughly 10 meters or about 34 feet of uh, Ethernet cable and so I want to see if the signal can travel down here and I'm not gonna run any power through here but I just want to see if the signal will go through here um, so that I can go from the controller that's in my garage straight into the first uh, string there the first stick and then uh, then I can daisy chain the rest of them I may have to do some power injection I I'll figure that out when I get that far but I want to see if the data will go through this cable and still light those lights up step one is just to make sure that the pixels are working I have a white ramp 100% white uh, this pigtail is connected directly to this receiver board the receiver board is coming off the F48 and we are in test mode. That's just to show me that everything's working. The, the first string I tested this way had a bad pixel. I thought it might be a misconfigured controller, but um, I just wanted to make sure that the controller was configured correctly and everything works with a short pigtail. These pixels are working now, so I'm going to add the data cable in line here uh, just to see if the data signal makes it all the way through all right so I have this little skinny blue wire right here blue is my favorite color so there is no color code here I'm establishing my own uh, standard and the telecom guys are gonna go nuts over this but anyway uh, I just have the blue wire solid blue wire coming out of the receiver and then the rest of them I have all tied together on this side uh, this is another negative off the same power supply when I actually go to put these in a plug then I'll wire them all up at the same plug but uh, just for now um, skinny little blue wire the rest of the wires are serving as kind of a shield on the other end these are all just hanging free I have the blue wire that I connected to data and then that is feeding the pigtail so the pig, the only change that I made is adding 10 meters or about 34 feet of K, uh, ethernet cable in between the data line so the power is still the same BAM so that means that the data signal is plenty good enough to get go through 35 feet which means no and there's no f amps or anything like that i'm coming straight out of the controller through 35 feet of cable 34 34 and a half something like that and uh the signal is good now some of you may be thinking well could i also run power through the ethernet cable as well uh, the answer is you can it's not a good idea and I have a previous video on that okay so not my finest work here but we have uh, the the plus 12 volts we've got this skinny little data line here and then I've got the rest of the ethernet cable hooked up to this side and along with the uh, negative side on the power cable this is all heat shrink so even though it looks horrible it is shielded uh, or it's it's uh, insulated again this not my finest work again but we have the little data lead at the end of the ethernet cable they're just all clipped off the extra ones are and then i have power coming from this white cable so i basically made a little snake here and then I just put a pigtail on it and hooked it to that. So let's see if it works. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Voila. 
This is the setup that I'm going to use. I've got the snake feeding the first one. I've got 10 feet of cable in between each one. Right now there's no power injection and we'll take a look. Oh, and I did replace the last pixel on the last string. It uh, had burned out. This is at 10% brightness. Uh, everything looks normal, so let's raise it up to 20. At 20%, now you can see we're starting to get a little flickering toward the right-hand side. That's the end of the string. All right, the voltage is dipping down to about 8.3. So we need to inject power. So I will inject power at the end of the last string. And that fixes the flickering problem at 20%. I'm all the way up to 70% now. And you can see in the center, the lights are kind of yellow as we go to full brightness on the, on the rest of them. So I need to inject power somewhere in the middle now. All right, injecting power at the end of the third string there. Uh, looks like it fixed that problem at 70%. And this is now at 100%, and we are seeing no issues at all. Okay, so the little snake that I built seems to be working. So it's just uh, not, not real super pretty, but um, this will plug into the controller and then I have a pigtail on this end that will plug into the sticks. So this seems to work. Uh, why not go from prop to prop with this? Because this is really kind of a pain. I only wanted to do it one time. But uh, it will work, so I'm very happy about that. So for the center point power injection, I just created a pigtail uh, and spliced on this power connector. I'm not soldering and putting heat streak on it right now because I'm still not sure if I'm going to have to put a power supply out there or if I can just run power back to the controller, which would be even further than 35 feet. So I'm probably gonna end up putting a power supply out there and that's the case, I don't need a whole lot of cable for that. Um, so we'll see, that'll probably be a um, setup day decision and I'll figure that out. But I did want to show you, this is what they look like. So this, that part really hasn't changed too much. So what I did on the back is got a piece of half inch uh, PVC. It's, this is schedule 40, but it doesn't really need to be. Um, the amp amp just kind of wraps around the back here and I've got it tie wrapped here. I may have to put another tie wrap just to give it some more stability, but I've got three of these little anchors um, and so and the only reason I did that was because this PVC is uh, from a previous prop that is no longer in service and they were bowed a little bit so um, I needed three points to to make everything straight but that's what these all look like so I'll just pound in uh, some rebar into the ground slide these over the rebar and Hopefully they're heavy enough that they won't move around. If they move around, I'll have to put something else to, to anchor them, to, to keep them pointed the same way. We don't normally get a lot of wind here. We did last year, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so that's about it for this week. I may play with these next week just to see how well they do. I'm anticipating that they're going to be wonderful. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. And all the dog shows. <laughs>